Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Kita News video where we talk about everything otaku. And this video will be focusing on the upcoming anime adaptation of Sword Art Online Progressive. For those who don't know, Progressive is a story that focuses on Asuna and her perspective of the original Sword Art Online story. During Anime Japan 2021 day one yesterday, we got new information of this upcoming anime adaptation. We got a reveal that the anime adaptation will be a film and it will release fall 2021 in Japanese theaters. So assuming an October, November release, if it gets delayed, probably December, if not 2022, like somewhere early 2022, basically. But uh, let's hope that doesn't happen, knock on wood. But uh, if we're expecting a... Uh, Western release probably sometime in 2022. So we got a confirmation of the adaptation being a little different from the original source material by watching the new trailer that they revealed and of course the new visual as well. And honestly, a lot of fans aren't really happy about this. They actually wanted a direct copy of the original source material. But in a way, I think this is actually pretty cool because, well, I mean, the original author is, you know, writing the story. And I, I, I just think he wanted to add more that he didn't really get to add in the original, you know, novel. Now, um, fans probably watching the trailer have noticed that there are new monsters, new enemies. And they've noticed that the first floor boss is probably beefed up, unlike the uh, the fat looking thing that they saw in the original anime or manga light novel. Like this guy is like buffed on steroids or something like that. I, I don't know what they did there. But um, yeah, there were some uh, new enemies that have never been seen from the original source material. And of course, the original anime character that's going to be in the film, uh, Mito, who's going to be voiced by Minase Inori. Now, um, there isn't really a, a lot of information of this character other than that her design is revealed and it looks like she's holding or wielding a death scythe which is actually pretty interesting like they're on floor one and she already has some really cool looking weapons so it looks like if you're on floor one you can pick up some amazing looking weapons <laughs> but yeah that's all the information that we have right now but again I, I think a lot of fans are just like sad about this anime not being a direct copy of the original source material like we also have a new title for it as well it's uh sword art online progressive hoshinaki yoru no aria uh aria of the starless night and again a lot of people again are not happy about the the changes but again i, I just think it's a updated version of the original uh source material and i think it's still gonna be a pretty cool anime adaptation for sword art online fans and yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. So yeah, that's basically about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We have a lot of um, anime videos coming out. So look forward to those. If you guys have yet to subscribe to the channel, it'd be really cool if you guys do. Laters.